Alrighty guys, this is Pandapravity back with some more human resources machine. And I was just going to show you the optimizations that I've, that I've done. This was not one of them. Which one was it? Uh, I know this was one of them. Exclusive lounge. Okay, so this was the one that was optimized with the speed, I think. Let's check. Yeah, this was the one where we had all this convoluted stuff. Somehow, this was optimized. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Well, I could have sworn... Yeah, this was one of the ones that I optimized with the um, commands. Yeah, 12 commands. So basically what I did was I rearranged the 4 and the 5 um, because there were fewer jumps. There were, there were fewer... places where I had a jump is negative straight into a jump so I just moved like this one here I had it jump if negative into a spot and then I was jumping straight after that to another spot so I was just taking this well, and moving it directly where it needed to go and then I did the same thing here the same thing here and then rearranging the copy from five and the copy from four made it to where I could do that twice instead of just once and so I was able to take two of these structured jumps or definite jumps whatever you call them out so I went from 14 to 12 and that's now it's fully optimized and I thought this was optimized with Speed, I could have sworn. Why? I know what I did. I know exactly what I did. <laughs> I used my. <laughs> I used my. 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 Uh, speed optimi optimized solution to make this so I have to shoot well, copy paste it in here to optimize the speed you want to minimize the jumps so instead of having for example a jump here we do copy from zero outbox jump to the beginning. And then here, copy from five, outbox, jump. Speed optimized. So basically, for whatever reason, jumping to this last, instead of having just one outbox command and jumping to it from each thing, just adding that, adding the outbox and then jumping back to the front meant less steps. So that's that. So that's optimized. And the other one.
Oh, I see. Yeah, the zero preservation initiative. I just looked. I just looked at the footage from the last episode. So this was my command optimized. Zeros only. And so in order to ma in order to optimize our steps, since we're only three away, I just iterated this a bunch of times before the first jump. And actually, I didn't even have the last jump. I just assume I just put all the jumps inside and then I outbox. So I just iterated the same thing over and over, like I said before, because I didn't want to do that on camera, I just copied it. And so now, it does the exact same thing, it just doesn't jump back to the beginning as many times. So, and it was actually one step less than, op than optimal, so that's good. Now let's do something new. Absolute positivity. Attitudes. Positivity is mandatory. So on this one, we have to send everything from the inbox to the outbox. However, if something is signed or negative, we have to remove its negative sign. Now obviously there's no absolute value command here. So what do we do? This one was kind of easy. Basically, take an inbox, copy to zero, Subtract, subtract, outbox. Oh wait, no. <laughs> if negative, otherwise, jump to here. Yeah, this is it. <laughs> Pretty simple, pretty simple stuff. Size is optimized, speed is not, but we can fix that by doing this. Uh, we need to... this there, send this to the top, and then just iterate this. Is that optimized? Yes it is. We could optimize it more, but I have no desire to. We'll continue that later. Oh, and you know what I did? Ah, dead gum. Did I? I sure did. So I'm just going to do this real quick. Inbox, copy to, sub, sub. Just of the, of the programming aspect of it. Um, that's how you optimize absolute positivity. So we'll do the sabbatical beach paradise and then we'll move on from there. Yeah, obviously this is not like a video that you would just watch for entertainment <laughs> because it'd be like watching an accountant do spreadsheets or something and talking through the process there. This is purely a how-to <laughs> type video. So I'll probably have some like annotations 
at the beginning where you can just skip straight to whichever you know skip straight to whichever um, challenge that you're looking at that you're stuck on or whatever by the way you can click on these guys and get like hints or whatever and they're relatively helpful like this the example is probably the most helpful thing Anyway, phrase number in the inbox, send that number to the outbox, followed by all numbers down to or up to zero, it's a countdown. So for instance, five, it would want uh, five, four, three, two, one, zero, and then negative four, negative four, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, and so on and so forth for all these. So how do we do that? This is where it starts getting a little bit more complicated. Um, but we do have these new functions, the bump functions. What that does is top of zero. Uh, we'll bump down since it's positive, and we'll loop it. And just watch this. It takes five, sets it down, and it bumps it. So it makes it one less, and then it takes the value into the hand. And I know from experience that. The lowest value you can go to is negative 999. The highest value is 999. Um, later on in the Fibonacci challenge, uh, I'll show you how I very quickly found that uh, found that out. So inbox. First thing we need to know is if it's negative. If it's negative, we need to go up. If it's positive, we need to go down. So this is for the negative. Put that there. Move that. If it's positive, we want to bump it down one. But first, we want to outbox, inbox, copy to outbox, copy from zero. Because no matter what, we will we will put the first number. And then, if it's negative. Oh, you know what? We don't need this because the bump puts the number in your in your hand. So you know what? I'm gonna put this here. I'm gonna put a jump there, and then I'm gonna put a loop right. from zero. So let's try this. Oh, that's right. So... Jump of zero to the top. Easy fix. Oh, you know what? It's not gonna... Yes, it is. We did it. <laughs> that was easy. Almost optimized. Is this one. See, I need to. I need to just do all these optimizations off camera. His hand is moving. Whoa! This whole building is moving. I can't look at. That. I can't stare at that. I will get seasick. It's crazy, like, when I do these solutions, like, once I sort of flesh out the initial solution, it's so hard for me to, like, 
it's so hard for me to like, conceive of the fact that there there's probably a more efficient solution. Like I can't. It's so late. I'm so tired. I can't think. This is probably the worst possible time to be doing this, but. <clears throat> it's really difficult for me. You know, you know what? You know what's helpful for for optimizing the commands is stepping through. And you can kind of see, oh, okay, so I, I'm a little redundant there or whatever. So take it, copy, send the first one. Okay, I think I see. see something I can do. So like I said, instead of copying from, we can do the bump. But if I put the bump there, then it's not doing these tests. So what I need to do zero to the outbox. If not zero, jump if negative. If it's positive, we bump down. And we need a copy too. think this is fully optimized yet. In fact, this looks exactly like what I just did a second ago. Let's just let's work with it for a second here. What did we what did we change? Not much. We were one off. But all I did was I removed one of the outboxes. <laughs> Everything else is the same. But since we had to outbox the first one no matter what, instead of coming down here to outbox again, I just looped up to the top, and that's where our loop is. Outbox and then do the bumps to outbox, bumps, outbox, and if it's zero, start over since we've already outboxed to the zero. Yeah, so that's a good optimization there. Okay, I'm running on 20 minutes here. This takes a long time. <laughs> I'm gonna have to edit a bunch of this out, I think. Okay, so now we can optimize the steps, which will probably end up being 
just iterations of this over and over. I really, I'd really rather do that on Notepad. Let me just, let me just show you that quickly. right next to this this is the notepad window so what we'll do is we'll copy this I just realized you can't what am I doing you can't see all of this because of my face maybe I should put my face somewhere else oh well you're it's fine you know you know what you know what's going on so basically we'll come here we'll copy this come over to notepad and control V and this is what it looks like Human Resource Machine Program. So I'll just show you. You see that A colon, it's right here, corresponds to this uh, jump destination. And then inbox, see that here. Copy to zero. You can see inbox, copy to zero. So it just, it's very, very simple. And what I can do from here, Copy and paste. Uh, let's see. If I just want to copy all of it, do this. Control C, Control B. But now I need to change this to E, F, G, H. And then I also need to change this to E. F G Where's H? This 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 should have been C D this should be H. Okay. <laughs> so now I can copy all of this. Control C. Come in here. And just to show you, I'll clear this and then paste. So now we've got all of that. And we'll run it. Not yet. But basically, that's what you can do. Um, go back. That's basically what you can do. Uh, if you want to make it a little quicker. Now, what I really need to do is the iterations, the bumps. So to string those out instead of making instead of looping on that. That's what I should have done. I just wanted to show you a way to optimize. Uh, maybe in the, next, in the next episode I'll show you um, how I do that. Uh, but anyway, hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope, hope, hope it was helpful for you. Um, I may just I may just do like a couple of montage videos instead of sort of like what I did with my please don't touch anything. I'll probably just montage all my solutions 
and sort of explain. I don't know. We'll see. I'll put I'll post these, and if y'all want something like that, let me know. If you like this sort of a walkthrough type of video, then post accordingly. Uh, hope it was helpful. Uh, please leave a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Um, and check out some of my other videos. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.